A teenager in Houston is painting a different and bright picture on autism. Reporter Henry Yao spent a morning with this artist and brings you his story. If I see something good, and there's like, oh, bottom of my head. Like most artists, Grand Menier uses nature as inspiration for his art pieces. Sometimes I look around, like for example, the monuments, animals, and things I see, like in books, computer, TV, especially TV. <laughs> He's created a collection of collages, or coulages as he refers them to, by tearing, shredding, and ripping hundreds and hundreds of pieces of recycled paper. And of course, it's a little painstaking on my, na on my <laughs> fingers in time. The 17-year-old has even developed a signature style, taking the skin of puzzle pieces to enhance his eco-art masterpieces. Inspiration surely isn't a challenge for Grant. His challenge is called autism. There are a half a million people in the U.S. living with some form of autism. In fact, the CDC estimates that children born today have a 1 in 88 chance of developing some form of autism. We weren't as fortunate as some parents are nowadays. Uh, when Grant was diagnosed with autism back in 2000, he was six years old. Grant uh, suffers from Asperger's, a form of autism that makes social interaction a bit difficult. They look normal. They, they may have motor skills and uh, they, they have verbal skills, but something's not right, something's not clicking. But that they hasn't stopped them from living a fulfilling life. As a matter of fact, Grant is quite an overachiever. He's received two Houston Mayor Awards, and his art has garnered national attention, turning the tables on autism. Find out what the genius is. Make and use it. You know, make it a future for them. Autism's not a bad thing. My disability has become my ability to help change the world. In West Houston, Henry Yao, 713 News. Art is based on nature, and you use recycled materials. If you are interested in owning one of Grant's pieces or would like to commission an original artwork, go to 713news.com for the 411.